Hello and welcome back to another Dofus video. My name is Caleb and today we're going to look at the Skeleton Dungeon. So first of all you have to come to 1015. I'm going to display on screen my characteristics. Uh, it has been a while since I've done a dungeon video so my level is probably a little bit higher than usual. And you, you can use the bunch of keys or you can get a skeleton key I think it's called. Um, skeleton dungeon key and you give it to click clack. Now the way we gain access to the dungeon is we step on this little tile up here and this will open. So there's no actual animation for where you have to stand so you can just click on there and you'll drop down. So once we talk to him we'll start our run and we'll see how quickly we can do this. I have done this before a while ago. There are two unique monsters that we can fight here called Primitive Chafer and of course the dungeon keeper which is Ronan Chafer. So there's only five rooms and I think I should be able to run through it pretty quick and we'll see I guess. So we'll probably just try to run through as quickly as possible. And all attacks on him. Kill, kill him one hit, thank you. Alright, we'll get these two on the next turn. And we'll try and do challenges if possible. If not, nope, I'm going to go for time over challenges. So, we'll kill them. And we'll move on to the next one. I'll just keep an eye on my HP. I may have to use some bread to speed this up. Right, I'll let them come to me. Oh, I probably should have checked that. He can move pretty far. But that's okay, because they're both dead this turn. So we can run through this pretty quick so far, which is not too bad. We're in the third room. That's a good start for me. Ooh, yeah, we'll do the challenge. What's he got? Two. Yep, perfect. And then hit you. Yeah, we'll go there. And there. We'll try and use all that AP if possible. Oh, I don't know where he is. Will that hit him? It won't. If we go like that. Oh, we hit him once. Not enough though. Now I have to use all MP. Um, go like that, we'll go like that, and then go like that. Got him. Excellent. Oh, it's not a bad drop. Right, we're in room four. So I guess we'll just beat them from a distance on this one. And we'll let them come to us. So we're just trying to run through this as quickly as possible. Um, well, it's probably going to line up pretty well for me. How far can he reach me? He can. I'll take away one MP if I can. Two. Even better. So, yeah, like I said, I haven't done one of these dungeon runs for quite a while. I've been focusing on other stuff, making karmas in-game. And, yeah, just getting lots of levels. You can see I'm level 136 now. So here we go. Here's the boss, Ronan Chafer. So we'll take him. So yeah, I've just been focusing on uh, different things at the moment, so um, I'll get back to the dungeon runs pretty soon. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the versatile, I feel like I can run through this pretty quick without that. Unless he heals, he is dead next turn. I don't know what his move is, if he runs towards or if he'll run away. It looks like he runs towards you. Excellent, I can hit him right there, and him. That's a really good start for me. Um, we'll go here anyway, I know I'm going to get hit. I might be able to take enough MP away for him not to get to me. I can, excellent. So I can still try to use the Nomad challenge. Oh, he pushes me away anyway. That's not too bad. Oh, so I do have to kill him. Can I kill him? I probably can't kill him. Oh, nah. Alright, I'll wait for him to move and then I'll use all my MP. And we'll get that challenge done. Excellent. So 
we'll be able to go and have a look at the numbers in just a second once we get out. Oh, that's for the spell. Oh, can we get out of here? How do we get out of here? Ask the secret. Don't ask. I don't know what this means. How do we get out of here? Secret. Ask. Say goodbye. <laughs> Say hello. There we go. Okay. Right, and then we're done. Okay, so I'll stop, stop the timer now. Uh, it actually takes you out not at the same map as where you start, but that's okay. And we will go check the numbers in just a minute. So now to the numbers. So you can see that the perfect small soul stone cost me about 2,000 karmas to buy. The skeleton dungeon key is about 600 karmas. I reckon you'd be able to sell the soul stone for about six to 8,000 karmas, and the drop soul is quite surprised. Uh, they were about 15,000 karmas for the drops. Now, that price isn't exactly um, right. If you go and actually sell those items, I doubt very much you'd actually get 15,000 karmas for them. But just for the sake of this example, I'm going to use that. So you can see that our total made is 23,000 and the total cost is 2,600. So that gives us an approximate karmas made of 20,852. The time taken was 255 seconds. So that means that we could approximately do 14 dungeon runs in one hour, giving us a potential profit of about 290,000 karmas made in an hour. So I also took off the small, uh, small soul stone and the Ronan Chafer soul just to see how much if you didn't capture the soul, if you just did it purely for the resources. And I still got to about 207,000 karmas per uh, hour run if you were just to run that out as much as quickly as I did so not at a very fast pace but at just a very comfortable pace if you're going to do that for one hour so thanks for watching please do subscribe and like the video thanks for watching